misdemeanors treat. I will list it. <laughs> Look at little twit twat from CNN. I've not been willing to jump and her favorite little prat boy. Little Mark Warner from the not so intelligent intelligent committee, vice chairman. Twit twat wants to know if it's time to impeach Trump. Thank you very much, Warner. You little twit twat. In her little pink blouse with her lipstick and her fake eyes. Nothing worse than a homely chick trying to look hot. She thinks she's so smart. It's time. There, there's little Chrissy Wallace. The little neocon dropout. It's amazing. Trump's the problem. Russia's the problem. But when Obama was funneling tons of ammo and munitions to uh, ISIS, they didn't want to hear about it. And when these wonderful people in our FBI and DOJ and the Klingon Brennan of the CIA, they're so wonderful when they were running guns to the Mexican mob. And now they've constructed towers across the country from sea to shining, shining sea to listen to us. That's important. But I guess Snowden made it up. And of course, they're also above reproach. Their veracity is never to be challenged because Snowden was wrong. Assange was wrong. And of course, McCabe isn't guilty. No lying there. No lying with uh, Lisa Page and struck out Strzok. No, no problem there. And of course, Mueller, you know, the guy who came before Congress after 9-11, we didn't even have internet until about a year ago. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have the tools. Now, now he's a genius. Now he's Sherlock Holmes. Because the libtards love him. Right? Of course, come again, Comey. <laughs> the guy who turned high crimes into a matter at the behest of the pygmy midget Lynch, head of the DOJ. When little pygmy Lynch called, imagine that, the pygmy. What is she, four foot one? She looks like a walking fire hydrant with a fat ass. That's Loretta Lynch. And she calls in the six foot eight inch hermaphrodite, Comey, who walks like uh, he's still doing service as an altar boy with his little ferrety hands up under his chin. I don't know what that's all about. And told him, let's call, call what Hillary did wrong a matter. Hey, Al Capone. Did you uh, know anything about the guys on the St. Valentine's Day massacre? Uh, no, you see, oh, I was over in Florida at the time. Uh, I guess it was a matter what happened in Chicago over there. It was a matter. Eh? And Lois Lerner going after Christians that had the nerve to declare themselves tax-exempt as 501Cs. We can't have that. But here in New York which is going to soon be something else that rhymes with New York, we have Asetum. The Asetum have taken over the whole lower quadrant of the state and infiltrated into Jersey. Go to Lakewood. Come up to Blooming Burg or Blooming Grove. Pretty soon it'll be Blooming Burger and Blooming Grove Bomb. All Hasidim who pay no taxes. None. And the state of New York, you know, Governor Gumbats over there, Cuomo, he doesn't recognize their marriages. So that way, Schlerm and Sadie Gefiltefish, he could be a diamond cutter, make two million a year, and Sadie gets to collect welfare. You people in America ever hear of that kind of crap? Or let's go to Hancock, New York, where my family used to have a farm on Sands Creek Road. Nope, that's now called Islamaburg, because we have Muslim Al-Qaeda training sites there. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? They're still harassing the American Indians in upstate New York over tobacco. But they don't mess with them Muslims. Not in the state of New York, home of lesbos, Muslims, freaks, and Hasidim who pay no taxes. But all you Goyim Gentiles, shut up and pay. Fork it over. See? You people don't know about this in Alabama and in Nebraska and in Iowa. You have no idea what we got to put up with. 
in the vampire state. F you pay me. Yeah, that's the hypocrisy of libtardia. But they don't want you to know. Can't we all just get along? But you're tax exempt. You're tax exempt. Oh, you're an American Christian? Pay up. Isn't that great? Yeah. But Trump's the problem. We used to be a nation of laws. Now we're a nation of lawlessness and special interests and lobbyists. The K Street boys that own our FBI. They own them. They own the CIA. And business isn't good because Trump's breaking out peace all over the world. And they're scared. Where are we going to put all those weapons? How are we going to excuse the expenditure if there's no boogeyman? There's no more ISIS because Pooty Boy did them in along with Donald Trump. We put an end to them. It took Trump six months. It took Obama eight years to build them up. And Hillary. Remember, they called it the Arab Spring. Right out of Mel Brooks. Springtime for Hitler. You remember that? Yeah. These libtards watch a Mel Brooks movie and fashion a documentary. Because they're more evil than you can say. And they hate Putin because Russia under Putin has become back to its Christian roots. The biggest branch of the Eastern Orthodox Christian Church. Oh, and by the way, they pay taxes. You know what else? They don't sodomize altar boys. Interesting, isn't it? Must be something which, which shoulder you genuflect to. Very interesting. But people in this country better wake up. I've always said it, be careful about waving a flag because that flag today might not represent what it used to. And as a conservative Christian American, these people like McCain that call themselves conservatives, conservative to what? Hanging on to the 70s and the Cold War? When Mitt Romney had the temerity to, 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 to argue with Barack Hussein in the debate, that Russia was a greater threat than anything in the world, they laughed at him. They laughed at him. Now, I'm not naive. I know Russia is as threatening as maybe most of the history they've been in, other than the fact they're not communists anymore. But they're not the threat they were in the 70s. They're the greatest threat in the world today because we don't have any other real threats. China's a real threat. With a billion, 200 million people, they're a threat. But you keep pushing Putin. You keep telling him what a bad guy he is. You keep telling him, you did that to Hitler. And they'll become the very antichrist you want them to be. And I'm sure the people in the think tanks for the NSA and the CIA, they know that. Because they're good at it. But the bottom line to all of this, and I've said it a million times, it's all about money, privilege, and enfranchisement. And these people in the deep state are rattled. And they think they, by the way, that's what Strzok was alluding to. That's what they were so concerned about. The shakeup. They didn't care about our country. They don't care about the dynamics of the world politics. It's about their privileges. It's about their Praetorian special class that's being examined and challenged. Heroes, first responders, your bureaucrats, your apparatchiks, you take out the garbage, you're a necessary evil. And the more unnecessary you are, the more we trim you down, the better off this country will be.